Hi everyone, you're watching Health on Flash videos. I'm Arabta and today we've got David from 21 Co joining us for this chat today. Uh, so David, first of all, welcome to our chat and tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, thanks Arabta. I really appreciate uh, being here and, and uh, you know, welcome to all your, all, all your viewers. Um, yeah, I, I'm uh, the CTO, uh, David Josie of 21 Co. Uh, I've been the CTO at 21 Co for about a year now. Um, and uh, in terms of my journey, um, I've been in the fin tech space for, um, I would say, bulk of my career, um, starting in traditional finance and equity and prime brokerage, um, starting at large investment banks like Goldman Sachs, um, where I kind of cut my chops there. Um, and um, always, you know, focusing on pushing, you know, the boundaries of technology. And, and um, you know, I've been lucky to be involved in, in early stage startups, both, um, you know, in the fintech space, you know, building on top of what I've learned around development and infrastructure and, and security and best practices. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Sounds great. And um, so you, you also came from TradFi and then did your switch into crypto and web three. How was the transition like? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, um, you know, having been in traditional finance and fintech for you know a long time, um, covering a lot of different areas in that space, it's you know obviously it's evolving, uh, has evolved you know over the years. Um, the one area for me that I wasn't uh, actually involved with, um, and the reason I kind of got in, you know, kind of wanted to get into into crypto, was it was just an area that um, I knew was evolving and was changing, um, and uh, it was an area that I wanted to get into. And so um, I, I kind of, in a couple of years ago, I left the the trad five space and jumped into crypto, um, into um, you know, immersed myself in, in blockchain in a company based in uh, blockchain commodities, uh, an exchange, a trading exchange. And then, you know, recently I just um, switched gears and, and I found my way, you know, here to 21 Co. And, and, and uh, it's been it's been a great ride uh, since I joined. Fantastic. So let's talk about 21 Co. Tell us a little bit about what you're building. Yeah. So 21 Co., you know, from its inception was really around bringing crypto into the hands of as many folks as possible. Um, when we started, um, you know, I think certainly crypto was still in its infancy and it still is in its infancy. And that's kind of you know some some of the fun uh, of, of crypto is that we're just really at the at the advent of of of, of the crypto market, um, and so um, where we found was you know there was a lot of people that were really interested in crypto, really wanted to get into it, um, but the on ramps for it were not really were not really easy, right? They were technical, and people had to understand some somewhat complex technical stuff, and so the the inception of twenty one the the idea was to really bring crypto into the hands of people that not necessarily, you know, had a huge background um, in, in technology. And so we found ourselves, you know, ultimately providing, um, you know, essentially a, a, a traditional vehicle for crypto and, and what we call an ETP, an exchange traded product um, based out of Europe, and quickly found that we were the number one provider over the years um, in providing those assets. And so really making it accessible for traditional uh, managers, institutions to, you know, to get into crypto without having to use standard like crypto on ramps. And so that's really where we started. And it's really where our, our product suite has evolved. And, um, you know, and, and today, you know, that's, that's transforming from, you know, the traditional ETPs into more of a tokenization uh, product suite. Got it. So you guys actually started in 2018, and that's been quite a journey thus far. And uh, from what I understand, it's to make crypto accessible as a vision for everyone. So how has this uh, progressed and what were some of these top milestones along the way? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 really just kind of um, understanding the the evolution of, of of the market. And, you know, as I said, we started in the in a traditional um, crypto ETP. We were the first ones to do it. Um, and then over time, as the market has evolved, has become more sophisticated, we've also, um, you know, also kind of, you know, coupled ourselves with that journey and really kind of um, evolved our platform. So now not just offering ETPs, we're now tokenizing and creating a token based product suite where you can still get that same access to, um, you know, the, the underlying crypto assets, but in more of a kind of a, a, a tokenized form. Um, and that's really kind of the evolution of our product, and we're going to continue to evolve that product suite um, as we, uh, you know, as we as we look into the future, um, and as our as our clients and and as the market gets more sophisticated, you know, we will continue to you know to adapt and, and make our system you know more uh, more accessible. Um, the, the nice thing is, as we've built this um, you know this product suite, 
Um, we've had to build a lot of infrastructure internally, um, you know, to, to, to kind of keep up with the demands of our, our clients and, 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 and our issu issuances. Uh, and so we've baked a lot of, um, you know, a lot of operational controls and security um, and, and checks and balances within our platform. And, and, and that has allowed us to kind of continue to allow us to evolve because we're using some essentially evolving our platform to allow us to continue to do that. So. Right, great. So as the CTO, what's the security strategy you took when it came to 21 Cut? Yeah, look, you know, with this space, uh, security is paramount. It's not uh, unheard of to, to see hacks and, and whatnot happen and somewhat pervasive, uh, you know, across this space. And so I think from the inception of our company, I think security and focus on that has, has been one of our kind of core tenants. Uh, and certainly as we look to build and extend our platform, that's something that we look at, uh, you know, on an everyday basis is making sure that we're pushing the boundaries, making sure that we're baking in the right level of control into our products. So that means internally looking at our, you know, our projects, our access points, things like that. Also leveraging you know, the community uh, and the community-based standards and protocols that are out there um, and being being able to take advantage of that as well so that we're not just relying solely on ourselves, we're relying on a broader you know, ecosystem of security. Uh, the, thing, the thing with security is really you, can never really, you can't really leave your guard down, uh, which really means you need to constantly assess um, you know, your product suite and your offering and kind of all the attack vectors that you know, we, you know, we think we see and also you know, hackers out there may see. Of course. And I'm glad you're talking about security as a spectrum and the default mode being always constantly on guard. Um, that said, you did bring in external perspectives. That's where we work together and we are doing a couple of pen tests and the SEA with you. So talk to us a little bit about why go with something like Halborn and also what has the experience been like? Yeah, it's 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 really a, it's a natural progression uh, of, of of where we take our security assessment, right? I think again we can look internally, you know, day in day out, but you need to kind of go beyond that and and look at again the the attack vectors that others might see and that me, we may not see ourselves. And so partnering with a company like Halborn, where you can focus, um, you know, on the security, you don't have to just re always rely on yourself to kind of you know do that assessment. So looking at a good partner, a good security champion. Um, we'll always look at you know external providers to help facilitate that that need for constant assessment um, and, and leveraging the experience um, you know like a Halvern really is, uh, is is paramount for us. Fantastic, that's always great to hear. Anything upcoming that our community should look forward to on the product uh, roadmap when it comes to Twenty One Co? Yeah, I mean, look, not to get into too many specifics, we're we're clearly. Um, in a current time where, you know, it's it's somewhat of a bear market in the crypto space and, you know, we're, we're focusing on growth and building, um, but in keeping with our vision and objectives, um, our roadmap over the next year will, you know, continue to be focused on on building and extending our product suite, you know, be it whether or not we're, we're adding additional features to tokens, um, you know, whether or, not whether or not we're adding banking like features for more sophisticated customers, um, also providing, you know, we're built on top of, um, you know, really world-class research team and so providing access to data um, and, and through different, um, you know, different means uh, is, a, is a big focus for us. And, and essentially, you know, putting, you know, getting access to, to you know, all the, our products, um, you know, through our, our core infrastructure and our platform, that's really where our product seat will continue to evolve. And, and our focus is really to build along this spectrum to continue to push this market um, in the direction it's going and, and you know, riding, you know, uh, you know the, right, the, the wave into the crypto market. Sounds great. So, David, this has been a great chat. With that, I call this a wrap. And thank you so much again for joining us on this conversation today.